Hello there, Libra. Thank you for stopping by for your tarot forecast for the week of September 21st through the 27th. On Monday, what you guys have coming up is you have your Eight of Clubs in reverse. And the Eight of Clubs in reverse is just telling me that things are slowing down for you on Monday. So if things were kind of a hectic pace before that, I feel like Monday you just kind of had this sudden slowdown, like everything sort of comes not to a screeching halt, but definitely to a much more relaxed pace for you on Monday. Much easier to keep up with what's going on and actually a good day to do catch up work on maybe some things that might have gotten behind before. Now Tuesday, Libra, what you have showing up here is the Nine of Coins. Nine of Coins is really the satisfaction card. This is a card that tells me that you're pretty satisfied with your life and your lifestyle and how things are going with you right now. So um, of course, all of us always have things that we want to adjust or change or tweak in our lives. So this isn't saying that, you know, there's nothing like that around, but this is saying generally overall, you're feeling pretty good about your life and where you are and what you're doing right now. And I think for those of you who may not be as far along as you want to be, I still feel like this is a card that says, you know, considering what I've been through and the obstacles I've come through, I'm doing pretty darn good. So I think on Tuesday, Libra, you're going to be feeling really good about what you have accomplished so far and what you are accomplishing right now in your life and how you've got things set up for yourself. Now on Wednesday, we have another really good card coming up for you, and this card is the Lovers. Now this talks about partnership. So this can be um, a business partnership, a friendship, um, a partnership between um, uh, people who work together, or this can be also a partnership of a romantic nature. But whenever the lover's card comes up, it does talk about two people working together, possibly two companies working together. This would be a good card if you're actually looking for a job. This could be um, the day that you sign a contract on a new job, or this could be the day that you hear that you've been hired to be an employee for a company. Um, but also this can be um, if we're talking about a more personal relationship, this talks about bringing that um, relationship into the next level or really stepping it up. So whatever is going on with that lover's card, whatever is going on with that partnership, it's a good thing. It's talking about taking that to the next level, whichever way that's manifesting in your life on Wednesday, Libra. Now on Thursday, what we have showing up is we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords in Reverse feels to me like somebody that you're going to be interacting with on Thursday. And for most of you, this is going to be a female, although not for all of you. This is a general reading, so I'm not going to go out on a limb and say for all of you it's going to be a female because I just don't feel like that's true. But so tell me about the nature of this female that you're going to be interacting with Thursday. This is somebody who has been battling with depression or with feeling blue. She may have um, been going through grief. She may have lost somebody or, um, you know, she could have lost a significant other or a child or someone close to her, maybe even a pet. I'm picking up that for some of these. Um, these are women who have lost pets or possibly men who have lost pets that you're dealing with on Thursday. Whatever it is, this woman has been going through some deep sadness. And on Thursday, when you're interacting with her, that's starting to turn around. It's just in the beginning phases of turning around. And she's starting to realize that she can smile without uh, feeling guilty, or at least without feeling so guilty anymore. So that's what we've got coming up as far as somebody that you're interacting with on Thursday. Sensitivity is the key word. Sensitivity and compassion. It's real easy to be impatient with people who are grieving or who are going through depression. Um, but if you can kind of try to kind of put on their glasses and see the world through their lenses and have some compassion for them, that might be exactly what that person needs that day. So let's see, Thursday, then we move on to Friday. Friday, we have the emperor in reverse. This is somebody else that you're dealing with. This is somebody, this is not such a nice character. The Emperor in Reverse is somebody who does have some authority in your life. So this could be a father, it could be a boss, a supervisor, could be a significant other, but it's somebody with authority in your life and they are feeling kind of grumpy on Friday. That's the first thing that I'm picking up. Um, a lot of times when we've got an Emperor in Reverse, they have some very negative character qualities. So, and I'm feeling like for, for some of you Libras, this Emperor in Reverse that you're dealing with, 
how they're acting on Friday is not their normal character, but something's going on with them. And so when we're talking about character qualities, we're talking about things like um, they are manipulative. They will kind of lie to get their way if they need to. They can be uh, very pushy. They um, can be very demanding and very short on offering compliments or gratitude towards people who are fulfilling those demands. So this is uh, the type of person I see you dealing with Friday. Now, he doesn't have to have all of those character traits, but he's probably going to have some of them. And yes, for most of you, this is going to be a male. For some of you, it will be female. Now, that was Friday. Saturday, what we have showing up is the Six of Coins. Just means you're going to be asking someone for some type of help on Saturday. This could be taking out a loan to buy a car or whatever. Um, this could also be asking a friend for help. This could be asking somebody to come over and help you with uh, maybe some chore that's a little bit too big for you to do by yourself. This could be asking your grandchild to help you make some cookies. It could be could manifest any old way, Libras, and I do feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be manifesting in many different ways, but I do see you asking for some kind of help on Saturday. Now Sunday, some of you are going to be asking for help, by the way, to coordinate a party or a get-together. So let's move on. Sunday, King of Cups coming up here. This is somebody that you're going to be interacting with Sunday, and it's going to be a very pleasant interaction. This is someone who's going to um, reveal to you his feelings about certain things and about you in particular. Um, this person could be somebody who's interested in you in a romantic way for some of you, um, but I don't pick up that that's going to be the situation for every Libra. So this can also be, I'm really picking up strong father figure or uncle family figure type person coming in, could be grandfather. Um, but this is someone who really just says, you know, hey, I'm proud of you. And I feel like you don't, even though this person is generally pretty comfortable with their emotions, I don't feel like you hear this very often from the person in such a direct way as they're going to be presenting it to you on Sunday. So it's going to be a really nice thing for you. It's going to make you feel good. So that is your week, Libras. Thank you so much for stopping by. For everybody who purchases my supplemental daily videos, thank you for the support. I appreciate that. For everybody who likes, who shares, who subscribes, who even watches, everyone who has had a reading and everyone who will have a reading, thank you, thank you all. I appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here next week. Peace out.